You know, some people um, stick to this theory or this uh, belief that um, if you do LSD, you'll have flashbacks. Like, flashbacks basically just like, for no reason, you'll just start tripping and feeling like you're on acid again. Um, I wish that was the case, because that'd be like, buy one hit, get one free, right? Buy one trip, get one free later. <clears throat> I've been waiting for these flashbacks, man. I've never had a flashback. Never. I mean, and I've uh, done a lot of acid, so if anybody should have had a flashback, it should be me, since I've been I've done acid every year for the last 30 years. Yeah, and um, many times, multiple times a year, somewhere between 150 and 200 hits, not including the 30 hits incident. That's I kind of don't include that in my my lump thing, but uh, so you would think by now at the age of 45, I would be having some sort of flashbacks by now, right? Especially if you combine the other drugs I've used. You know, the other, oh, the second LX2, it's like, I think one time maybe I was like um, doing something. I think I might have been doing a second LX, I think it was DMT. I felt like I was on acid for a few minutes. But I don't really consider that a flashback, so it's kind of a second LX drug too, so I don't know. I think it's bullshit. I'm going to have to call bullshit on the flashback thing. Never had one. Waiting. I think it'd be cool to keep, keep waiting, you know, and just be walking. I'm hoping to just be walking around and bam, get hit. feel like I'm just like, you know, started tripping can't be so lucky so flashbacks I think is was a, a rumor to scare people into not doing acid you know it's like just like that old wife's tale like oh if you do X amount of hits when I was in high school it was like over seven I think it was if you do X amount of hits then you're like legally insane or, you know that's that's bullshit that's bullshit um, I don't even think you can use that as an insanity excuse a plea in a court trial. Like if you were to kill somebody, I don't think you can use that temporary insanity thing anymore. Um, and so I call that's been kind of pretty much proven bullshit. Another thing is a permit trip. I gotta call bullshit on this because everybody knows somebody. Like, well, not everybody, but in the psychedelic community, it's like you talk to people. People are like everybody knows somebody that's hospitalized or institutionalized or permanently tripping, right? But nobody actually knows that person, right? I've never met anybody. I don't know anybody who's permanently tripping. But I've been around a lot of people who trip. Um, is it possible? I guess. But I mean, how much do you need to take? I mean, if 30 hits won't make you permanently trip, I don't know what will. I mean, how many you have to take? 300? Fuck, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, you know. I think at a, from where I was reading, at a certain level, a certain high level, like your body can't ingest anymore. So I don't see how the, you could permanently trip because the acid will wear off, right? I don't see how you, unless you could somehow reprogram your brain to think that you're tripping like forever, which doesn't make any sense. So let's call bullshit on that. I think you can get high, so high like on 30 hits, where you think you're gonna be high for the rest of your life. Yeah, but that went away after a few days. So I'm gonna call bullshit on the permanently tripping too. Um, so shit, I just call bullshit on all of them. Flashbacks, bullshit. What was the other one? Oh yeah. Taking too much, taking over X amount of hits, you're legally insane. Bullshit. Uh, and the permit trip, gotta call bullshit on it. I think these are all things contrived to scare people away from trying psychedelics or LSD specifically. Probably originated probably in the 60s and 70s when LSD became popular. Um, a lot of disinformation out there in order to persuade people not to take a trip, drop out, you know, tune in. You know, stuff like that. So that's my theory. I'm sticking to it.